today. And if you see people wearing orange like Mimi and I, there is a good reason for it. It's National Gun Violence Awareness Day. Dr. Don Schifrin is here this morning to talk about this day and what it means and why it's important that we raise awareness about this. Hey, Don. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for wearing your orange. Uh, we're hoping that this is a, a going to be a great day and wear orange weekend carry through to the weekend. This is the fifth annual National Gun Violence Awareness Day, and it's really important to understand that we have an epidemic, especially affecting children. Every day in this country, 12 children die and 62 children on average are injured from firearms every day in this country. Uh, we've had about 40,000 children from age 5 to 19 killed in the last 18 or 19 years. That's an unbelievable total. Imagine in this country if an infectious disease killed those kids every day. Mm -hmm. It would be a national tragedy, right. and it is. Right. So we have to pay attention to what we can do to be aware of firearm injuries to kids and also adults. And remember, only 1% of these deaths are from school shootings. Mm -hmm. So even though they're publicized, they're a small, small degree. We're talking about homicides, we're talking about suicides. Suicides are massive. And then some yeah. accidental injuries that are maybe 5% of the total. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is understand that in America, we have more kids dying of firearm injuries than cancer. Mm -hmm. And remember, the cancer budget for the NIH is about $500 million. We can't produce a budget for gun research because it's uh, Congress uh, has had a, a law on the books since 1996 saying we won't do that. So we're sort of hampered in what we can do for firearm injuries, but in King County we have uh, a great campaign for safe gun storage. Right. So if you're a firearm owner, we're not going to talk about gun control. We're going to talk about gun safety. So yeah, so at home we talk a lot about tips for our families. What, what is it that we should be teaching our kids, telling them when it comes to gun violence? I mean, guns are legal, right? So what is it that we should be talking about gun safety? Right, and again, it's, it's not an issue about gun control. We're talking about gun safety. Research shows, and we have one of the premier researchers in America here in Seattle, he's really a treasure, uh, Dr. Fred Rivara from Harborview, has done this research, and he says, appropriately, that if you store your gun safely, locked and unloaded, that will help children not commit suicide and not have accidental injuries up to 70% better. Mm. So that really is the key that we can start producing for people. If you have a gun and if you have a firearm in the house, please keep it safe. Don't keep it out and unloaded. About 10% to 15% of the guns surveyed in King County that are in homes and one in five have guns mm -hmm. are stored unsafely. Yeah. yeah, it's such a big issue that at my pediatrician's office is part of the uh, wellness check. One of the questions that parents answer is, do you have a gun? Is it stored safely? Right. It, because of the fact that Parents need to keep, continue to think about yep. that, yeah. Well, we're going to talk later on this month about National Ask Day, Asking Saves Kids. Mm -hmm. And again, that's the question that we want parents to ask when their kids go to play at another house. Is there a gun in the house and is it stored safely? Yeah. That's one of the things we'll talk about later this month. National Wear Orange Day. But, right. but in the meantime, again, we all need to be aware of it. We all need to make this an issue for next year's election. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Don. Appreciate it. Great to be with you. Yeah.